Okay, this video is going to show you how to use the fake FPGA on an ECF computer. So on the ECF computer, you're going to want to go to this website, and uh, also I'll put the link in the description, and you want to download this uftscripts.zip. Uh, and then you want to keep it. Alright, so you need to extract this to anywhere on your computer, but on the ECF computers, I really recommend that you extract this to um, somewhere on your W drive because then it'll stick around and then you won't have to re-download it. So we'll just make a new folder here for the extracted files. And that's that. So um, we're done with this. We'll come back to that later. Now let's open up the GUI. You're going to want to open this once when you log in and then just leave it open. There's no need to close it. And in fact, you shouldn't close it. So you can find that GUI if you go to the C drive, FPGA simulator, and this DESIM132 right here. And then just double click this run.bat. All right, the GUI is open. Uh, we, don't have to, we don't have to deal with that anymore. So um, let's move on. So now at this point, you're ready to start doing a lab. So let's open up the old Quartus. And we'll make a new project. Uh, once again, I recommend saving everything in your W drive. So we'll make a little folder here. And maybe this is lab six or something that you're working on. Right? And we'll call this project lab six or something like that. Um, make sure that this and this are identical. You can call it whatever you want, but these two have to be the same. Um, this is going to seem silly when we see a step that you have to do later, but you have to do this. And then just go through all the defaults. You don't need to change anything. And then make yourself a new v or Verilog HDL file, which is what we're going to need, and save it. Um, I like to call it main.v. Now, uh, what you need to do is go into that scripts archive that you unpacked, and there's this lab template.v that you're going to need. So just take everything that's in there and paste it into your main.v. Now you're going to notice that this says module main has a bunch of inputs and outputs and then a place to write your code. Uh, always use everything in here as written. Don't change the name, don't change this name or anything like that. Um, and then let's just write, you know, let's suppose that lab six is something like, oh, make LED zero be the XOR of switch zero and six one. All right, fine. Now there's one last thing we have to do before we can compile this. Um, you'll notice here that in the hierarchy, Cordis is looking for a module called Lab6. Um, but this module is called main and it has to be called main. So to fix that, we're just going to go into assignments, settings, and tell it to look for a top level entity called main. And now it'll find this one when we compile. Okay, great. So how do we compile it? Don't click these play buttons instead. Um, use this script that we've provided. So go into the scripts folder and you'll hear, you'll find compile sim.tickle. So just open that, click it once here in the list and hit run. Um, this actually does the same thing as if you clicked, I believe this uh, right hand side play button, but also one extra step um, to export the files in the right format so that our simulator can use them. And you'll know that it works if you see uh, the two green check marks on the left hand side here in this thing. Um, and if you have any syntax errors in your Verilog file, you'll see it in this processing window. Uh, okay, great. So now in theory, we're finished with Quartus. Um, let me show you what that script we just ran, this compilesim.tickle, let me show you what that did. So in the R project folder, there will be this new directory called simulation model sim, and in it you should see this main.vo file. That's how you know that you're good to go. 
Okay, now just go back into that scripts folder. Uh, whoops. And notice here there's a folder here called ECF copy these files. Go in here, whoops, copy all these three files and put them in this simulation model sim subfolder of your uh, Quartus project. And that's it. All you got to do now is double click run sim.bat. And your indication that everything is working is that you see this run dash all on the bottom. And now you can use your project. Uh, when you're done running your simulation and playing with it, just hit stop simulation, but don't close this window. Just leave it open. Uh, okay, that's all.